B-roll is footage used in a documentary to further illustrate the story being told. It makes the piece more visually engaging to watch, complements the A-roll interview, and helps the story more fluidly transition from one scene to another. A-roll audio drives the story so it should be shot and finalized first, whenever possible. Then, a list of B-roll footage to support the audio should be created and shot. This documentary follows the story of one of the best boxing coaches in Hungary. He talks about his former career as a professional boxer and how he wants to bring glory to his country by training kids who also aspire to box. B-roll is essential to transition between scenes. For example, notice how in this clip we transition inside the narrator's home from an outside training scene. The editor paralleled images of boxers to create a seamless transition. Take note of how the video shows a variety of shots that all relate to the audio. Get creative when shooting B-roll. The video should complement the audio. You don't want to match it the entire time. It's important not to think too literally about how to illustrate the story. Find interesting vantage points and angles to support the A-roll. Videographers should always try and create different types of shots. Compose detail, tight, medium, and wide shots for each scene covered. Remember to record each shot for at least 10 seconds to ensure you have enough footage to use when editing your video. B-roll will often include your subject actually doing what they or others talk about in the A-roll, but it also illustrates things that are impossible to shoot literally. In this clip, the boxing coach reminisces about his childhood and early years in boxing. It would be impossible to gather footage from his past, so instead, we supplement by filming him in the neighborhood where he grew up and by using photos to conceptualize his commentary. Create sequences when you film and edit. When editing sequences together on a timeline in post-production, think about using shots that complement one another and help the story transition naturally. Gathering B-roll is an essential and creative process that requires a lot of planning. It usually accounts for at least 80% of your final footage, and most B-roll clips will only be on screen for three to five seconds. This means that for a five minute piece, four minutes will be B-roll and will consist of somewhere between 50 to 80 different clips. If you see it, you have to hear it, and if you hear it, you have to see it. You can never have enough B-roll, and you should never substitute with stock footage or ambient sound. For example, crowd reaction from an event is particular to that event. Downloading crowd noise from a sound library is neither ethical nor effective. Both the soundtrack and the video track are a combination of A-roll and B-roll. So it is just as important to gather ambient audio as it is to gather video b-roll. If you have a two-person team, have an off-camera mic and get as close to the source of audio as possible. If not, use a shotgun microphone mounted on the camera and always wear headphones so you know you are getting the ambient sounds that you need. You should never download copyrighted music or broadcast audio and insert it into your documentary. If you are shooting a scene where music is playing in the background, it is usually okay to include it, but always know the copyright laws that apply to your production. Do not ask subjects to recreate actions or moments. If you miss something, you missed it. Documentary storytelling has to represent the truth and recreations never reflect what actually happened. Recreations and animations can be used for historical references, but it has to be obvious that this is the intent. Most videographers use about 10 to 25 percent of what they shoot in a final edit. So as you can see, a successful video requires a lot of B-roll.